the US Army's stoned Medal of Honor super soldier. April 1st, 1970, Firebase Illingworth, Taining Province, Republic of Vietnam. Sergeant Peter Lemon and his men have spent the previous day out on patrol in the region near the base before returning there to rest that same evening. Smoking a joint. It is known that a large unit of the enemy are in the immediate vicinity of the base and so sentries are on alert, whilst the rest of the men, including Lemon, try to grab some much needed sleep in anticipation of action later in the night or the next morning. The sergeant smokes a joint of marijuana and prepares to sleep. About 2.18am, Sergeant Lemon is still awake and stoned. Suddenly, the silence of the night is broken by the sounds of heavy shelling. Mortar and recoilless rifle rounds are impacting the base. After 20 minutes of this heavy barrage, a battalion of 400 crack North Vietnamese Army soldiers begin storming the burn. The GIs manning Firebase Illingworth are severely outnumbered and must fight like the very devil if they are not to be overrun and slaughtered. Rewind Peter Lemon was born in Canada and emigrated with his family to the United States at age two. Growing up in Michigan, Lemon, a patriotic believer in the war, actually enlisted to fight and underwent training in the USA. Army life suited him well and he was soon made a sergeant, Specialist 4, before being shipped to Vietnam in 1969. Sergeant Lemon was posted to Firebase Illingworth, just five miles from the Cambodian border in Tha Ninh province. Its perimeter was protected by claymore mines dug into a low earthen berm surrounding the base and a few bunkers. Perhaps due to its hasty construction, there was no defensive concertina or barbed wire, but only the berm. One GI described it as trouble waiting to happen. The defenders were 215 men from the 1st Cavalry Division and various attached units. These included C&E companies of the 2nd Battalion, 8th Cavalry. The 2nd Battalion provided dual 40mm anti-aircraft guns Dusters, supplemented by D Battery's 50 calibre quad machine guns. Firebase Illingworth held a strategic position aside the infamous Ho Chi Minh Trail, utilised by the Communists to supply arms, ammunition and troops to the combat zones in the south. Patrols were sent regularly in order to disrupt movement on the trail, and the US High Command was sure the NDA would retaliate by trying to wipe the base out. This would reveal the NDA positions, enabling them to be attacked in turn. The apt description of bait was used by some to describe the reason for Firebase Illingworth's placement. Potence The horrors of war and the futility of the mission in Vietnam soon affected Sergeant Lemon, like so many other soldiers. Of course, it being the late 60s, early 70s, drug culture was endemic and he and many of his men quickly turned to smoking marijuana for comfort. Marijuana, or pot, was the easiest drug to get hold of in Vietnam. It was a comfort to many and it was everywhere. Side note, a US Department of Defense report from 1971 showed that 51% of the armed forces were smoking marijuana. stoned warrior. Sergeant Lemon, high on pot, dashes outside into the commotion and rushes over to help M60 machine gunner Lou Vaca at the berm on the edge of the base, pouring fire into the first wave of attacking NBA soldiers. Ignoring the blast of mortar shells and grenades exploding around them, he assists Vaca until the machine gun jams. Then he uses his M16 carbine 
shooting dead five NVA until this also jams, at which point picks up a bag of hand grenades and starts hailing them into the waves of brave enemy soldiers until he has none left. The base is destroyed. After this, Lemon resorts to the only thing he has at this point, his bare hands, and closes with the enemy, fighting a lone NVA soldier to the death. And that was when the base exploded, hurling Lemon to the ground. There was a pile of 8-inch artillery shells stacked in the centre of the firebase, and an NVA mortar shell struck it, detonating the shells in a huge explosion that destroyed much of the base and injured many Americans nearby. Lemon was wounded and still high on the pot he had smoked and yet was somehow able to drag one of his badly hurt men to an aid station. After this he found another bag of grenades and began to hurl these at a fresh wave of attacking NDA soldiers. The End Again Lemon runs out of grenades and, despite by now having been wounded three times, he again fights hand to hand with the enemy using his combat knife and bare hands. Eventually this fearless man finds another M16 and once again stands on the base embankment, completely exposed to enemy fire, shooting up a further wave of furious NVA troops as they storm out of the jungle. At this point Sergeant Lemon finally succumbs to his wounds and sheer exhaustion and passes out. It would soon be 5am and the epic three hour battle was almost over. Medal of Honor Waking up in the aid station, Lemon refuses treatment at first, believing other men needed help more than he did. Later, he spoke about his smoking pot, saying, It was the only time I ever went into combat stoned. You get really alert when you are stoned because you have to be. So then, Sergeant Peter Lemon earned the Medal of Honor, the United States of America's highest award for valor, for his astonishing fight that night at Firebase Illingworth. He is perhaps the first and only soldier in the history of the award to be decorated for an action during which he was under the effects of marijuana. More importantly, however, he is also perhaps the most reluctant, selfless recipient in the Medal of Honor's long history having almost turned the award down and then refusing to wear it for a long time after in honour of his dead and wounded comrades in that long, bitter action. The story of Stone Sergeant Lemon's valorous fight is an incredible one. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. For more fascinating combat stories like this, don't hesitate to subscribe.